reading Joan Morgan's When Chicken Heads Come Home to Roost. So this book is called When Chicken Heads Come Home to Roost, My Life as a Hip Hop Feminist. And this book was released in 1999. And I relate to this book so hard. I just I'm reading this and this is just so relatable. When I was in college or even up to just a few years ago, I would not consider myself a feminist. Because, and it's just exactly like she came into her ideas of feminism. I relate to this um, narrative so hard because this is exactly how I came to be, um, how I am. I wouldn't use the word feminist because I didn't know any feminists around me. I just knew that I wanted women to be safe and have opportunities. So let me read a passage from this book. She says, feminists on our New England campus came in two flavors, both variations of vanilla. The most visible were the brawless, butch cut anti-babes who seemed to think the solution to sexism was reviling all things male, except oddly enough, their clothing and mannerisms. The others Straight and more femme were all for the liberation of women, as long as it did not infringe on their sense of entitlement. They felt their men should share the power to oppress. They were the spiritual descendants of the early suffragettes and absolutely not to be trusted. This is the reason why most black women will not consider themselves feminists. OK, this is not to say our differences were so great that the wave of feminist activism on the campus left me totally unaffected. I stuck my toes in the water. Okay, this is where I come in as well. I was adamantly pro-choice, me too, attended speakouts against rape and domestic violence, made sure to vote for candidates who paid lip service to equal pay for equal work, protecting Planned Parenthood, legalized abortion, and quality childcare. But feminism definitely felt like white women's shit. As a black woman, when you start talking about things within the community, within the black community, absent white people, you're still, as a woman, faced with violence against women. You're faced with rape. You're faced with things that affect women and girls. And so just speaking about that, no matter what you label yourself as, you're considered a feminist. So a passage in this book, um, she says, finally, I realized that in the face of sexism, it didn't matter what I called myself. Semantics would not save me from the jerks I was bound to run into if I continued to do this for a living, nor would it save women from the violence of teenage boys who suffered from their own misconceptions of power and manhood. If I truly believed that the empowerment of the black community had to include its women or that sexism stood stubbornly in the way of black men and women loving each other or sisters loving themselves. If I acknowledged this both in print and in person, then any sexist eyes in any sexist eyes, I was a feminist. Once I recognized these manifestations of black on black love as the dual heartbeats of black feminism, I was purged of doubt. I accepted his challenge with confidence. Okay. When I talk to women who say adamantly, I am not a feminist. When I ask them which rights would they give back or what issues do they have, they always act like it is white women's shit. I understand. However, if you are for, if you are a woman, a black woman, and you're for the empowerment of black women and girls, it does not matter what you call yourself. It really doesn't. If you try to <clears throat> talk about opportunities, you want safety, you want security, all that. If you want bodily autonomy for women, black women, you'll be considered a feminist. So once I, once I understood that, it does not really matter what you call yourself. If you are for the empowerment, the safety, security of black women and girls, in essence, you're a feminist. I don't care what you label yourself. You can just 
You don't have to have a label. It doesn't matter. If the tenets of your value system are the same, it doesn't matter. Once I came to that, it was like, like now when people call me a feminist, as if that is a slur or an insult, it doesn't do anything for me because yes, I am for the safety and security of women and I want women and girls to have bodily autonomy and opportunities to grow. So if that makes me a feminist, so be it. No, I do not hate men, no, all that stuff. No, I'm for the empowerment, opportunities, safety and security of black women and girls. So if you want to label me, fine. But reading this book is exactly how I came into myself. This is this is my precise journey. And she wrote this back in 1999. She's from the um, she's from New York. We had two divergent. I mean, two different parallel paths from two different eras, two different places. But this is this is me. <laughs> I could have written this anyways. Jump in the comments. Tell me what you think. Like, comment, share.